Um. I just want to point out that on a left-hand drive Porsche, if you sit there and try and find the keyhole on the right side of the steering wheel, you're going to have bad time because you're not going to find it. It's over here. It's on the left. Like that, 
But, I mean, you can tell, even though this is the baby version of what people dream of, this car has some incredible potential, and this car can be modified and built to what you want to do. I'm just going to sit here and admire this car going through back roads. I'm going through a very, very, very twisty section right now. And I, yes, I do have to be careful. I, I can't tell you how badly right now. I can't tell you how badly right now I really just want to be on a road course to be able to test this car to its full potential. Oh my gosh, I just sank into my seat. This car is, oh, this is so nice. Oh, it's almost giving me goosebumps with how amazing this car is. Wow, that was, I did that, I finished that road a lot faster this time than I did going out there, I tell you what. So, I always want to try and cover as much grounds as possible whenever I'm reviewing a car. So I want to talk a little bit about the interior. I very much love the black interior that this came with from the factory. It's very involving. It's a sports car. Now, I already knew before I drove this car that for some reason Porsche, the cup holders really like to break because whenever you press the button, well, they expand out a little bit. And for some reason, they like to break. And that's just a common thing, which is okay. It's not a terrible thing. As far as the seats go, I mean, they're very tightly packed, so you're not really going to go anywhere. I mean, but seats are seats. If you're really, really wanting to improve these seats, you can do that. It's a little bit different feeling for me because I'm, I'm used to driving a Japanese car that has a floating pedal or a, a hanging pedal, and this one has a floor pedal, and that's really not that difficult to get used to. The clutch is a little bit rough, but it's really not that bad at all. Uh, it's very easy to use, especially, I mean, it, it's like any car. I mean, you take five minutes to get used to it, or less, and you're fine. It's very easy to shift. I've never grinded any gears. The only thing I have to complain about is the fact that this car does not ever want to go into first gear. It's very, very quirky when it does want to go into first gear. For me, I really love the fact, I know a lot of German cars do this, but I love the fact that this car tells me at all times my tire pressure. That's a very important thing because tire pressure, especially when you're getting into racing and stuff like that, no matter what, knowing how hot your tires are is a very important thing, especially before you start driving it hard. But aside from that, I mean, this car is not bare bones, but it's 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 a very good mix of luxury but sports car. It's not too much. It is everything that I want it to be. And I kind of hate that because it proves my point that I love Porsche so incredibly much and it just gives me every reason to keep on loving them as much as I have. Like every car, it's got its quirky, weird things that you've got to kind of get used to. But that's also how you know you love a car. If you can get used to that and you can, if you can find out ways around that, well, that's how you really know that you love your car. This car is awesome, and I am very, very, very thankful uh, to Eddie for, for letting me drive this car. I love Porsche, and I don't think that that comes to any surprise for you guys, and I'm really, I want to let you guys know that nothing I've said this video has been out of pure bias and pure love for Porsche. It's been out of pure experience, if that makes sense. With all of that being said, this is going to conclude my review of the 2008 Porsche 911 Carrera. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me any questions in the comment section. But also, if you look in the description, like I said earlier, if you go to Eddie's Wheelwell account, and he can answer questions for you as well, because obviously, I don't own this car, although I'm driving it like I do. He can answer some questions for you as well. Seriously, thank you guys so incredibly much for watching and supporting me as, as I make videos like this. Being able to review cars and, and drive cars like I am capable of driving them is exactly what I love to do. So as always, I'm taking way too long to do an outro to a video. Thank you guys so incredibly much for watching. You guys rock. Hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next video. Peace out. Oh, I love this thing.